Hello everyone and thanks for joining me as I carve this white phase deer falcon, bird of prey from the arctic. Before I can begin carving I need to work on a pattern. I look at all my reference photos and videos and begin designing. With the front and side views drawn I can now transfer these patterns to a block of wood. Once all the lines are drawn on the block of wood, I can move over to the bandsaw and start cutting this out. The type of wood that I'm using is called Tupelo, and I get this from Louisiana where it is harvested from the swamps. Generally it's a very soft wood and easy to carve, but this piece happened to be very hard. But I'm still going to use it. Make do with what I got. I draw a center line just to help keep things in balance and then I'll take a few details from the pattern and transfer those to the block of wood. Most of these lines end up getting carved away but they help me see where all the shapes and forms are going to be. all the details drawn on the block of wood, I can now start the carving process. For the rough out stages, I use saber tooth cutting burrs. I have some links in the description below for those and other tools that I use throughout this whole carving and painting process. First thing I like to do is get rid of all that wood around the head, and then I can start rounding off the shapes. That deer falcon's in that block of wood somewhere, and I'm gonna find it. I'm using that saber tooth fur to get rid of the bulk of the wood making rounded shapes and muscular forms as they carve away. Doesn't look like much yet, but it's getting there. And on this bust I have the wings showing a little bit as well, so I'm just shaping them up here. Little by little I carve in all the different feather groupings. The back and on the chest and the wings. I like to take the time and assess how the carving is going before I get too committed. On the head I begin by carving out the eye channel and from there I'll do the cheeks and then round off the top of the head. I spend a lot of extra time on the head because that's where a lot of the character of the bird comes from. It's worth all the extra time and attention. I'm shaping up the head more here and I'm working on the character of the falcon, trying to get that mean look in the eye as I go. As I work on the head, I'm always checking from side to side to make sure that things are balanced. At this point, most of the bulk of the carving is done and I work on refining the shapes.
Just putting the final touch-ups on the body shape here. Trying to get that muscular look in the chest. So you'll be sanding and drawing on the feathers. And I like the way the head is coming along. The bow over the eye gives it that attitude of a falcon that I want to see. I've gotten the body to where I like it, so now it's time to draw on some feathers. I try to think of a nice random pattern. I don't want to have a fish scaly look, so I take my time drawing these on. Now I begin contouring all the feathers. Once all the rolling of the feathers is done, then I can go back in and texture each feather line. This block of wood did end up being a lot harder than I thought it would. It might cause me problems once it comes time to texturing, but I think I'll be able to figure it out. You get into a rhythm as you draw feathers, and it's like they almost draw themselves on at that point. With all the feathers contoured, now I can just give them a light sanding, and then begin texturing the individual lines. One feather at a time, I work my way around the whole body. I add in feather splits too as I go. I want to provide some interest to the surface, not just straight lines, but nice curvy feather flowing lines. The grain of the wood didn't end up being too much of a problem. It just took a little extra work so that it didn't show up. The feathers on the head are a lot smaller, but it's the same technique as I used on the rest of the body when it comes to rolling and texturing the feathers. The feathers on the head have to have a nice flowing arc to them, just like on the real bird, so I'm careful on how I draw them on and how I texture them. Now to really bring this carving to life, it's time to put in the eyes. I place the eyes in a bed of epoxy putty, which I will also use to shape the eyelids. A lot of the character comes from the eyes, so I want to make sure I have the angle and shape of them correct. Now with the eyes in, I clean up a few of the last little details and then I can seal the bird and get it ready for painting. I use two coats of depth clear wood finishing lacquer to seal the wood carving before I apply my paint. One last thing I need to add are the little pins in the nostrils. I make these out of brass rod that has been rounded off. I'll just set these in with super glue. Time for final inspection by the resident critic. I think he said everything is okay. Now on to my favorite part, the painting. I start off with my primer coat and then I can move on to adding color. Even though this bird is essentially black and white, I'm going to bring out some highlights and some shadows to add interest to the whole piece. Here I'm adding the highlight color to the top edge of the feathers. Using shadows and highlights, I accent the different feather groups and the eyes and the cheeks of my head. For the dark feather markings, it's the same idea. Here I will use various shades of black to add interest to the pattern. 
One at a time, I begin building the feather markings all over the body. On the chest, the feather markings are more like streaks rather than bars. By painting on some of the streaks very faintly, it gives the look of translucence, like they're being covered over by another feather. This adds depth and softness instead of being a hard wooden surface. To finish off the feathers now, I'll go back and add some splits, little details here and there, just to get that final feathery look. On the beak, I use an airbrush to get a soft blend. I have a black tip that blends into a bluish gray base. And then I apply a coat of varnish over that to get that nice leathery sheen. A few more final details around the nostrils and the eyes. Almost done at this point, just a few touch-ups and I can mount this onto this final base. <laughs> 